In an alternate universe, a cloud of radiation coming from outer space has engulfed the Earth. The radiation caused the buried dead bodies to reanimate and attack humans as flesh-eating zombies. Soon, the Earth was swooned with such creatures who started killing everyone that came in their way. Mankind retaliated, and a zombie war started. Humans had a hard time winning the war until their savior Dr. Reinhold Geiger established an organization called the ZomCon. The doctor discovered that if the brain of a zombie was destroyed, the zombie would die, never to reanimate again. Using this information, the soldiers fighting the zombies aimed for their brains, and soon the war was won. ZomCon built a security system to save their town from further zombie attacks. They built a perimeter fence that enclosed the town to not allow the zombies to enter. But even within the fence, when people die, they would turn into zombies because of the radiation. People's lives were at great risk, but Dr. Reinhold Geiger came through with a great invention called the domestication collar. With this collar, the zombie's flesh cravings would die down, making them docile. A red light from the collar suggests that the zombie's desire for the flesh has been contained. People were suggested to call ZomCon or push the nearest safety button if the light from the collar goes out. When the zombies became docile, people started using them as maids and butlers to help them with household work. Those who did not wish to live like zombies and could afford a funeral were buried deep inside the ground after their heads were cut off from their bodies, also known as the reanimation-free burial. In the town of Willard, children in school are taught about ZomCon and the history of zombies. In one of such classes, the head of security at ZomCon, Jonathan Bottoms, visits the students. Mr. Bottoms' daughter, Cindy is also a student in the class. Mr. Bottoms boasts about him making the town's safety against the zombies tighter, making the students clap in appreciation. But a kid named Timmy Robinson doesn't seem impressed. He asks Mr. Bottoms what would happen if the zombies who were buried come out someday. He thinks that they might have been crawling their way up little by little. Mr. Bottoms is left speechless, and the teacher soon ends the class. The kids are also taught to use a rifle in Willard, to prepare them for any kind of zombie attack. Two of Timmy's friends bully him and are sent for detention. When he comes back home, Tommy sees that the Barrows family is moving into their neighborhood. Tommy's mother Helen welcomes him home and dismisses him, when he talks about his bullies. Later at night, his father Bill returns from work and sees Helen has prepared a plethora of dishes for him. It turns out that she had bought a zombie to help her around the house. Bill is not thrilled about the new purchase, because he is scared of zombies. But Helen insists that their new neighbors have six zombies, and they should have at least one. Bill controls the creature through a remote and hurts him in the process. Little Timmy pities the zombie and asks his father to stop. The following day, Timmy waits for Bill to play catch with him, but Bill makes an excuse and goes out to play golf with his friends. Timmy's parents are nonchalant about their duty towards their kid. His needs are often ignored in his home. He goes outside to play alone, but Helen asks him to stop because she doesn't want the neighbors to think he is lonely. Timmy then goes to the park and sees a zombie trying to fetch a can from the ground. Someone is controlling the can from the bushes and troubling the zombie. Timmy goes to the bushes and sees that his bullies are responsible for the prank. The bullies push him to the ground and are about to shoot him when Timmy's new zombie comes to his aid. He pushes the bullies away and saves him. A happy Timmy thanks the zombie and names him Fido. Then, the two try to play catch, but Fido doesn't know how. So, instead, Timmy plays fetch with Fido, treating him like his pet dog. As they play, the ball lands near Timmy's aggressive old neighbor, Mrs. Henderson. When Fido goes to pick it up, the old woman attacks him and hits him repeatedly, making his collar dysfunctional. Fido turns into a flesh-eating zombie again and kills Mrs. Henderson. Just then, Timmy arrives at the scene and is horrified to see him feeding on Mrs. Henderson. Fido makes his way towards Timmy, but suddenly, his collar starts working again. Timmy takes him back home, but they forget to take the ball with them. Fido and Timmy are now in Bill's garage, where Timmy cleans him. He notices a surgery mark on Fido's chest and figures that he died from a heart attack. Helen walks in and asks them what they are doing. Fido tries to tell her about Mrs. Henderson, but Helen doesn't give him a chance to talk. At breakfast the next day, Timmy mentions that Fido died from a heart attack like Bill's father, which upsets Bill. He had to kill his own father during the zombie war. Then, Mr. Bottoms come over at Timmy's to socialize and talk about Mrs. Henderson's sudden disappearance. It turns out that the police have started looking for her. Timmy listens to their conversation. After the guests leave, he asks his parents about Mrs. Henderson. Helen tells him that if a pet zombie has attacked Mrs. Henderson, his masters would be thrown to the danger zone outside the town. At night, Mrs. Henderson turns into a zombie and walks around the town. She attacks a man, turning him into a zombie as well. Timmy is scared of being thrown into the danger zone so he goes out looking for Mrs. Henderson's dead body to hide it, but he only finds her decapitated arm. Suddenly, the zombie Mrs. Henderson attacks Timmy, but he manages to hit her with a shovel. After hitting her repeatedly, he decapitates her and then buries her in a public garden. Fido is kept tied to a tree outside at night. Timmy sees him struggling and making a lot of noise. 
When he goes to check on him, he finds that the light in the collar is off, which means that it isn't working. The noise wakes one of Timmy's neighbors named Theopolis. He offers to help Timmy with the zombie problem. The two bring Fido to Mr. Theopolis's house, where he fixes his collar. They agree not to tell anyone of the incident because a dysfunctioning collar should be reported to the Zomcon. The next day, Helen gets Fido dressed up in Bill's suit to take him to a funeral. She has started liking Fido. Bill is obsessed with zombie funerals and attends one whenever he can. The four attend the funeral, where the zombie's body and head are put into two different coffins. Meanwhile, the zombie that Mrs. Henderson had bitten attacks other people in the park. The town is now infested with zombies. The Zomcon workers fight them and try to bring the situation under control. The following day, Helen sees Timmy playing with Fido and is happy to see he has finally found a friend. She brings juice for both. Bill complains, saying that the zombie doesn't need to eat or drink, but Helen insists he can. She asks Bill to stay home and enjoy time with family, but he drives away with his friend. While leaving, he turns around to see Fido, Helen, and Timmy playing like a happy family. One day, Timmy's bullies are caught by Mr. Bottoms for accidentally shooting a Zomcon worker's leg. Mr. Bottoms suspects that the kids shot Mrs. Henderson and killed her, who in turn is creating more zombies. But the kids push the blame upon Timmy and Fido, saying that Fido attacked them at the park earlier. Then, we see Fido and Tommy climbing up a hill while talking about how they're always going to be together. Suddenly, they are attacked by the bullies again who tie them to a tree. Their plan is to destroy the collar and then kill Fido so everyone would think they are the town's heroes. They break his collar but are too scared to shoot him. But one of them gets shot instead. Fido frees himself and chases the bully into a small cabin nearby. There, he eats him. He then approaches Timmy but doesn't attack him. Fido has built an emotional connection with Timmy, greater than his hunger for flesh. When he cannot untie Timmy himself, Fido goes to search for help and brings back Helen. A bully has turned into a zombie and is about to attack Timmy but Fido and Helen reach just in time to stop him. Helen burns the little cabin to get rid of the evidence. Later, the Robinsons are at Mr. Bottoms' home. Helen talks to Bottoms' wife Dee Dee about her being pregnant. Mr. Bottoms has been noticing Helen being friendly to Fido and warns Bill about the situation. He suspects Fido to be Mrs. Henderson's killer. When they come back home, Bill tries talking to Helen but is dismissed. Meanwhile, the Zomcon workers find Mrs. Henderson's body and the ball Timmy had left at the site. They trace the murder back to Fido and arrest him the following day. A saddened Timmy chases the van Fido is in but is stopped by Mr. Bottoms. After a few days, Mr. Bottoms's daughter Cindy tells Timmy that Fido is still alive. She had heard Mr. Bottoms talking to someone on the phone about not wasting a good zombie. Fido is being made to work in a Zomcon factory as free labor. They ask for their neighbor. Mr. Theopolis's help to get into the factory and rescue Fido. Mr. Theopolis used to be a worker at Zomcon but was fired for being in a romantic relationship with a zombie. He and Timmy go to the Zomcon headquarter where people go to repair their old zombies. Mr. Theopolis breaks a zombie's collar and creates havoc in the establishment. Now, they just have to go to the factory on the other side and bring Fido back. Meanwhile, Helen and Bill find out about Timmy's plan and make their way to the Zomcon headquarter as well. Timmy manages to get inside the factory while Mr. Theopolis fights the receptionist. But, Mr. Bottoms sees that Timmy has snuck in through the surveillance camera. Mr. Bottoms finds Timmy and throws him to the other side of the fence that protects the town. Several wild zombies make their way to the kid as he yells for help. Just then, Fido and Bill arrive and ask Mr. Bottoms to let Timmy in. Bill and Mr. Bottoms get into an intense fight and Timmy manages to get inside the fence again. He points a rifle at Mr. Bottoms and asks his father to be let free, but Mr. Bottoms accidentally shoots Bill dead. Timmy then breaks Fido's collar and makes him attack Mr. Bottoms. Fido finally kills Bottom and saves Timmy. Sometime later, Helen organizes a funeral for Bill. Fido has been freed from imprisonment and lives with Helen, Timmy, and Helen's newborn child. Mr. Bottoms has turned into a zombie and is controlled by his daughter Cindy. The movie ends as Fido lovingly caresses the newborn baby. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.